y'all it's july 15th we're four days away from surgery it's monday surgery is friday we are up it's eight o'clock i'm going to put jazz in the car i hired a babysitter for mason for the school year for me to go back to work i don't know what position i'm accepting yet but i'm going to meet with the babysitter this morning it's going to be at her house uh, i'm not going to give a lot of information on her um, but I did used to work with her, so she's trustworthy. Um, but we're going to do a trial run Tuesday while I go to another interview. Because I'm just doing them all. I mean, might as well and pick the one that I want with the offers I get. Um, so we're going to trial run her keeping both the boys Tuesday for like an hour or two. How's what's going on? I'm going over there and then I'm going home to start all that laundry from yesterday of carpet shampoo and flea bomb in that house. We flea bombed it again last night. All the fleas should be out now. And I'm gonna go meet with the babysitter. And then get some I'm gonna get gas first. Then go meet the babysitter. Then we're gonna head to the house and at four o'clock I've gotta go and get Cooper, so we're running short on time, so let's see what we can get done. Also, left the babysitters. I just got McDonald's per my dad's request for breakfast. It is 9.54. Headed to the house now, I'm about 40 minutes away. He wanted a sausage and cheese biscuit, and then I just got a plain biscuit for me and Mason. Letting Mason's biscuit cool, and I'm gonna let him eat it on the way there. The babysitter is going to be a good fit. Um, the only thing is figuring out because she's 45 minutes from my house and then 30 minutes from my work. So drive 45 minutes to her and then from her to work is 30 minutes. So what I think I might end up doing is staying with mom like three days a week while I work. Not consecutive days because I'm going to have to go home and take care of Remy. Um, and like just get clean clothes and stuff but I think that's gonna be a good option is like live part-time while I'm working during the school year in mom's camper and then part-time at home and be at home on the weekends and like a few days during the week I think that's probably gonna be the best option to kind of like not spend a ton of money on gas and wear myself out driving an hour and ten minutes one way every day so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pass it by mom which I'm sure it's gonna be okay but I think that's gonna like be the best option. So, I'm headed out to the house now and I will update you. House is starting to come back together. We're having trouble with that rug, but all we got under the beds and everything, sheets and all that done. So, Mason pulled out wipes. Shampooed carpets. Seem to leave to go and get Cooper. It is 12.30 now. We decided to meet early. Cooper has to get glasses. He went this morning. So we'll be picking them up next week. He is farsighted, which my mom is the same exact way. So we are dumping Fabuloso mixture with Dawn in that rug, trying to get the urine smell from like dog accidents that would not pull out with like pet urine spray um so we're doing that trying to do that if not we may just be going without the rug and that's what's going on with that rug right now the table has made it it's just a hand-me-down one we got for free the family member that little piece is broken on that one compared to all the others but it's fine this is going to be just to eat at and for the kids to paint i'll probably pick up some dollar tree tablecloths mason's already breaking it in just new thing he's excited bed that bed's made and my sheets are on there i'm just waiting on them to dry mason had his first snap in the clean house <laughs> and slowly putting things back together it's basically like i'm moving in again um so I'm gonna work on that shelf later. I've already washed the bins that I bought for that shelf. I've been using these, but they had some fleas in them. So I threw the stuff away that was in the bins and um, we're starting new. 
So I've got those washed and drying, and then I'm gonna put them back on that shelf and work on the snack stuff. All the dirty, like just all the clothes and all that onto the front porch. Pillows and the rug are hanging. I'm not sure if we're keeping that rug or not. We're trying to just do a trial and error. And then all the clothes that are in bags and everything over here in bags will get cleaned up and washed and slowly brought in. Um, as I wash them, I'll just throw on that couch as you can see and either dry them or hang them outside, then throw them on the couch. So I've constantly right now got loads going. So that is what we're working with right now. It's like we got a garage sale going on out here. <laughs> Probably need to do that. But I've got the toys right here that you're seeing that all need to be pressure washed. I haven't finished through sorting the rest of this, but I've got a good bit of it done. And then this bucket is not going in the trash, but everything in here is going to the dump. The Play-Doh and stuff. Play-Doh and stuff, I'm just gonna replace. They're like 50 cents and I can get like 10 of them for like five bucks. So I'm just gonna replace the Play-Doh just because if we open them up in the house and there may be fleas in the Play-Doh, you just don't know. So I'm just gonna play it safe. I put the toys that I decided that I know they play with with the Play-Doh and put it in the pile to be pressure washed through the toys I know they don't play with and the, that bin and then like I said I threw all the play-doh away I'll be having to make a Walmart run before surgery because there's a lot of things I'm gonna have to replace because I threw a lot of stuff away like I need to replace their play tent there was no getting that clean um, the play-doh little things like that I'll have to replace so and then I'll have to still go and get soft foods so yeah, I'll have to make a Walmart run anyways. I'm just gonna be kind of making a list. I threw all my Q-tips and cotton balls out, so I'll have to buy a new of those. Little things like that, nothing big, but I'm making a running list of things I'm gonna have to pick up. All right, so these haven't fully dried, so I'm wiping them with cloths, and I'm gonna start putting snacks in there. I kept the stuff that was in unopened boxes, and then I went to Dollar Tree earlier when I picked up Cooper. I don't even know if I'll show you that haul. If I do, it'll be in this video. Um, but I picked up doubles of some of these, so I'll show you that, uh, just to have doubles on hand for my surgery. More bags. I just haven't pulled them all out of the car. I'm pulling them out as I put them up. But I was going to get chicken ramen. I don't like the ramen in the cups. So, they didn't have chicken that wasn't in the cups. So, I got the Dollar Tree brand, I'm guessing, Twisted Noodle Soup. I'm guessing it's like the knockoff ramen, but it's made in the USA. I got the five pack of beef because they didn't have the ramen brand. Um, and then I got a five pack of the ramen shrimp. I don't know. I mean, this pack looks a little bit wider for the off brand, but they're the same. Like, I don't know. They each have the same amount of packs and each pack has the same amount of ounces. So I don't know why they're getting in off brands. So let's put that up picked up another pack of peanut butter cookies um he's playing with play-doh scissors but if you hear him whining out he's fussy he wouldn't take a nap with everything going on so <laughs> on our bleach so i opened the last container so i picked up another one of those picked up one of these great performs i don't know how they taste but it's 33.8 fluid ounces and i thought just with everything going on would be good for me um, another thing, a mopping fluid. I bought this Fabuloso the other day. Absolutely love it. Bought it yesterday um, because I use most of my cleaning stuff, cleaning this house out. Um, but I was scared I was going to run out. So I did pick up a thing of lemon spick and span. Let me go grab the other bags. I got a thing of Brim's Cheeto balls. Normally the kids either like the balls or the puffs, but they... Some stores don't have the puffs. Only my local store has the puffs, and we were out of town picking up Cooper. So all they have was cheese balls. So I got those, but if I see Cheeto puffs again, I'll get another bag of those because they've already gotten into the other ones today. The other box of cheddar cheese crackers. Strawberry applesauce. There's six in there for $1.25. Sorry. I got that for my surgery. If the kids want some, it's fine. I may go back and pick up another one because I'm still going to have to do some running around. All right, and then some fun stuff that's not food. Like I said, when I find stuff for our trip, I've been picking it up. Shoe, ch shoe charms, I actually picked these up either for Cooper's Easter basket next year or um, Christmas stocking. 
may end up putting it in the prize box. It's either one of those three I haven't decided, but he saw these a long time ago and wanted to get them. And I found them today again when he wasn't with me yet. So I picked up these two, but they also have two or three choices for girls. This one's like a sports theme and this one's like a video game theme. Then these will either go in their Easter baskets, stockings. I'm thinking these are probably gonna be stockings. Um, either they're gonna be stockings or I'm gonna make a, a bag for their trip to go to uh, on our trip road trip to Disney. And I'll put them in there, like I said, either stockings or their bag for our trip to Disney. Um, but they're getting a, they're getting an art cart for Christmas together as a joint gift. I'll show you when it gets closer to that time. Um, so I thought these maybe for stockings to go in their art cart. So I found the Mickey Jumbo Crayons, which is the only kind I buy for Mason right now in a t uh, tin. And then I found Spidey and the Maze and Friends in a 24 count. So picked those up. So it'll either be for the car trip to Disney or it'll be their stockings to go in their art cart. Got some Jot magnets. This is with the school stuff. They're cheetah print. They're six. I always need more magnets for my fridge. And then I picked these up to go in their bag for Disney. Um, that we, We're doing an Airbnb. So I thought these would be really fun to blow up when we get to the Airbnb and just play with them when we're at the Airbnb. I got two packs. They're just Spider-Man and play them, punch them balloons. So I got the same ones because I know there's gonna be a fight over the characters. Then I got some motion sickness relief. I've been having trouble with motion sickness when driving. So. We shall see how this works. Y'all, so for the rest of the Dollar Tree, then I ended up running to Dollar General to get dinner and stuff for pizza, for pizza. Pizza for dinner and some wasp spray. And I grabbed a few other things that we needed to restock because we have a trash bunch. These are new. They're $1.25 antibacterial ham wipes, but they're scented. I got the wild berry. Um, it doesn't expire until the end of, 20, well, 4 of 2026. So I'm gonna put that up for our trip because I think these will be really good to just have in the diaper bag to wipe hands when things get dirty. Comet bleach with lemon, um, the lemon scent, 50% more. What's the ounce size? One pound, five ounce. Got that to clean. I've heard, I've never tried it, but I've heard Comet and Ajax, like the powder is good to clean like your kitchen sink. So I thought I would try it. picked up these were new and a dollar 25 micro gold so i picked up two i don't know if i'll care for them they're basically like a lysol that you spray they don't have much of a scent to them but i thought i'd pick them up and try them out y'all probably won't get a review till probably sometime in september because this is like my last i'll probably vlog tomorrow and the next day and that's going to be it until i come back from surgery so if you're watching this we're getting to the end of my recovery so all right, y'all, I'm back. I forgot to finish showing y'all everything I got at Dollar General. So I thought I would show you before I start taking it all apart and putting it away. Like I said, I had to get rid of a ton of stuff because, especially food, so I'm replacing the kids' snacks. So I didn't go to Sam's Clubs and get fruit snacks, um, but I went and got these Clover Valley. It was like $5 for 32. Next time I go to Sam's, I'll be picking up more. But they had this Berry Blast and another flavor. I thought the kids would like the Berry best. Then I picked up two of the Mandalorian child headbands for Disney for the boys. And then I picked up Paw Patrol ones. These were in the party section. I got two of each. I don't think we're going to end up using Paw Patrol. So I may end up bringing Paw Patrol back and keeping Star Wars because I forgot that Paw Patrol is Nickelodeon. But I just saw them and I was like, those are perfect. So I think we're going to end up bringing Paw Patrols back and keeping Star Wars for we're probably going to do SeaWorld as Star Wars Day or something like that. I don't know because I have Star Wars lined up with these now and I already had all the days planned out. But I haven't gotten shirts for every day yet. So I think we're going to squeeze in Star Wars somewhere even if it has to be SeaWorld Day. Then, like I said, I had to throw out almost all the stuff. So I got a pack of strawberry Yay. fruit and grains that were eight in there. I got a eight count of the blueberry and then they didn't have apple cinnamon, which is one of my kids' favorites. So I got the name brand with the eight count. I think it was like 50 cent more. Then I got two packs of these snack pack banana cream pies for my surgery. I got two of those, so I've got eight. Then here's the other Star Wars. 
Then I picked these up. I think they're going to go either in their travel bags. Mason's crying because he closed my door and he's with Cooper now. Um, I picked up these for a dollar each. And either these are going to go in stock and stuffers, Easter baskets, or their travel bags. Got these for a dollar. So it's called a Disney Junior Play Pack. And there's four crayons, one sticker sheet, and 24 page fun size coloring book. So I got a Mickey Mouse. And then I got a Spider-Man one for each of the boys. I got two white tablecloths. I think these were a dollar as well to go on my kitchen table. And then they had these also in the party section. These will end up being brought back. They're the Paw Patrol ones. But we're not doing magic bands because it's just not worth it for us because we're not staying at the resort. So I thought these would make them kind of feel special if they see other people with these magic bands. These little things maybe would make them feel special and I'll try to tell them those are magic bands. So um, I got them the Star Wars ones. They only had Paw Patrol in stores. I got a notebook. I thought this was super cute. I got a mini one too, but I've been using it already. Some sticky notes for work. And then I think the last thing that I have, no, last two things. I got this magnet. I always am a sucker for cute magnets. I always can need them and use them on the fridge. So this one says, Alexa, clean my house. And then the last thing I got is this home finance and bill organizer. And I thought we would use this to do like our bill planning or like whatever my budget when I do those videos so I picked that up for that that's all I got I know it seems like I've been doing a lot of shopping but like I said I had to throw everything out and just found some really good deals over the last few days that I think are going to be helpful in the house things we had to replace and then I found like Christmas clearance gifts I've been super excited so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time Bye bye